could it look like to see a gospel movement among every unreached people in every unreached place in this next decade? Lord, we enthrone you over the cities of the continents of Africa, Asia, Europe, North America, South America, Australia, and the Oceania, and we command the powers of darkness to bow and to retreat. We pray that those who live in darkness will see light, that they will come to the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, that they will be free from every entanglement and from every influence of darkness. May the Lord of hosts, the captain of the army of heaven, move into warfare and possess the cities, O oh God, that your will may be done on earth, even as it is in heaven, for in Jesus' name we pray. I believe through massive, coordinated global prayer, combined with Christ-exalting, discipleship-saturated church planning efforts in 110 of the most strategic, unreached cities on the earth, that this could be possible. Our God is the God of the impossible. What if this was the breakthrough moment, the very hinge of history, where we see the beginning of gospel movements among every unreached people in every unreached place in this next decade. We've heard from many church planning movements, house church leaders, that they are ready and beginning to launch multiplying house churches amongst 110 key cities around the world. We wanna invite you to join us in partnering with them, providing a global canopy of prayer, praying for each of these cities by name each day in 2022. Jesus is Lord of Lords, yet the nations rage against him. God has promised to exalt Christ by breaking the powers of darkness that hold the people of these nations in bondage. The Lord is not done saving. He will have a witness in every nation, in every city, amongst every people. And to that end, the most radical, coordinated prayer efforts, missions, church planting, and disciple-making movements in history have been steadily building and spreading across the earth for the last 20 plus years. Trust and friendship have been built. Individual goals and egos have been traded for the glorious possibility of seeing the gospel of the, of the kingdom proclaimed in every nation. Through advances in technology and the brilliant work of the Holy Spirit, relationships that are building together, these movements are now laboring together like never before. Only God can do this, so he invites us to partner with him to get it done. This will be one of the most ambitious efforts in prayer and missions to date. And Psalm 110 gives us our marching orders for the people of God to freely volunteer and join with heaven in asking God to save the nations. The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. The Lord will stretch out your strong scepter from Zion, saying rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people will volunteer freely on the day of your power. Now the reason is simple. First, Jesus is worthy. He is all deserving of all the worship, all of the obedience, and all of the affections of the human race. And second, he's invited us to labor with him through prayer. Now, this 110 city uh, prayer canopy vision, what does it involve? First, we've identified these 110 key cities with existing missions and church planning networks, infrastructure and strategic significance to their region. Second, we wanna raise up a global canopy of united prayer by mobilizing 110 million people to pray just 10 minutes a day every day for blessings and breakthrough over and through these cities. Fourth, we wanna invite the world, okay? We wanna invite every nation, every believer, every denomination, uh, every home church, every cell group, every family to own this great mission for themselves. Fifth, we wanna watch and celebrate and give God the glory as the Holy Spirit begins to impact the regions around these cities. Jesus has been given all authority in heaven and on the earth. He's the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth. 
So let's ask the Father to give His Son the nations as His inheritance in each of these cities in 2022. May the Lamb who has slain receive the due reward for His suffering.